so hopefully when I get the framework done, look at that, bloody terrible. Hey guys, how you going? Right, um, welcome to this episode. Right, um, I've done a few things behind the scenes, so um, I'm just going to bring you in and show you what we've done. I've done a lot of work, um, but there's more to go. Alright, so what I've done is, um, I've zinc, I've zinc the, um, uh, framework. Um, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to spin it around a bit. Right, I've zinced, you can see I've zinced, um, all that in there. You can see that. And guess what else? Guess what else I've done? I've pulled all the walls off. All right, so you're going to see a naked caravan. Here we go. There it is. So you've still got the nice roof. Um, we've got that there. There's a lot of timber. I'm going to just hop in there in a minute. Um, but you can see, look at this, um, this piece here. This piece here, you can see it's rotted. It was in there. And look at this. It's super rotted, rotted out. So I've got to replace all that up to there and right through there. So there is, um, there's a few pieces over here as well I've got to replace. Um, if you look at the back wall down there, all that's fallen down because there was a running board along the bottom there. Um, that all rotted out. So I got, I'll try and get in here. Here we go. Try and hang on to the camera as well as walk in here. Mm. Right, I'll stand on this bit there. Just give me a minute. Oh yeah. Okay. We're in. So you can see the remnants of the, all the walls. I got a few splinters this week. It's cooled down now. But to give you an idea, um, that is that is just sitting there. Nothing is supporting this except for the corners. The corners are supporting. You can see that's only just that there's nothing even holding that it's just sitting there so there was a running board down in here about that high um and it was screwed to this angle so i've got to put so what we got to do is what we're going to do is um i've bought timber so we're going to do the framework uh get all the framework back to scratch look at this well, that's just broken not even there um, and have a look at, the, look at this down here. That's not even joined. None of the panels are actually joined to the framework. So, I've got a bit of framework to do. But on a positive note, the framework, now I know what um, I can mount to. And I can actually make um, timber timber framing so I can read sort of design it um, up here I had to pull that out as well um, that was a big ding in there I had to push that up you can see the crease there up in there um, this wood is like 30 something years old 1975 so I've got to make a whole new frame set up um, you can see it's nice and level there but then when you go across here, it's on a bloody angle. So I've got to fix all that up. So what we're going to do is, oh, sorry for all the moving. The 240 volts going to come there and all the 240 volt, we're going to put safety switches and all that type of thing in here. Um, we're probably going to do 12 volt, 12 volt um, 
circuit breakers and stuff in this area. And then we're gonna do 12 volt radios, which is and all that stuff, all the controls, 12 volt there. Run 12 volt up to there for the TV. So I sort of got a rough idea what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do the bed where I am, chairs where the wheel wells are, then a bench, a bench, fridge, and a bench. So the idea is to get the framework done, get the insulation in, and then we can start skinning the walls and start making framework and that. But we're gonna do the floor. Just show you this for a minute. Sorry for rabbit it on. Um, I like the idea of the zinc loom um, tin. So when the water sprays up under the car, um, caravan, it doesn't actually hit the timber. So I think we'll do that on that side and we'll do the tin on this side as well. Oh yeah, another thing I did. Um, that's the original, that's the original stay, but there was one on this side, but they cut it off. So I bought a second hand one, and that's an Alco one. Let's bring it around there. There it is there. That bit there. So there's a wind out leg there, and you'll see at the front, I've put one down there as well, at the front. So when you step in, it doesn't rock. And it just winds up, you can see right there, there's a windy bit, you just get your battery drill and wind it up. And I've painted it grey, slate grey, which I'm going to do the whole frame. Um, I did paint the back black, and then all these red backs were building um, stuff, so and I thought, I don't want spiders and shit in here. So we've gone the grey, and the spiders, the red backs don't like grey apparently. So we're going to do the whole draw and everything in grey. I don't want any spiders and shit in there, building nests and stuff. I want it all, they obviously like black. Um, the water tank, I've had a good look at the water tank. There's a flat spot right here. Um, and I've actually got a level that's 125 deep, so it's not a big tank. It's probably a 60 litre tank. Um, and I've actually got a level for that. And we're going to use a 12 volt water gauge so we can see because we will use that for the shower and then we just top it up with 20 litre drums when we need to um that'll be when we're in the middle of nowhere but all right so um let me it's going to be a few days before i get the framework done so let me get the framework um all fixed up and worked out and then you'll then we'll come back and have a look at it Oh yeah, um, I'll just show you this bit at the back. Right, there you go. I've, I've started painting it grey and I've noticed um, the spiders don't build there. But I just want to show you this back bit before I do the framework, how not supported it is. Like it's just sitting there. So hopefully when I get the framework done, Look at that, bloody terrible. Bloody shit, isn't it? So that will be, that will be nice and tight when I've done the framework, because I'm actually gonna sigaflex the framework to the skin, to the cladding. So that should stay still and not flap around. Oh yeah, another thing, sorry, another thing I just wanna show you. Um, I got weather tape, roofing tape. I've already done that as well in the last week. Um, I'll just stick me stick you up there to have a look. You can see that I've got all the weather tape all the way along the top and along the bottom there and all up the top along there too. So it was leaking on the sides because when I pulled the inside skin away you could see remnants of water damage so that cost me 50 bucks just to get that weather tape but that will not leak now um, and when we pull the other in underside we'll put the tape under there as well for where the brackets are for the pop on top but anyway I'm going to get into the framework and then um, you'll see it all done in a minute 
Hey guys, I'm just going to show you the before and after sort of thing. Um, that's what the door looks like there. I've cut, I've cut the board down there. A little bit of gap. So the timber's supposed to sit down on that. So look at that. So that's that bit. Um, I've just cut this piece. So that will fit down in there. And I'll just show you inside here at the back. Actually, the front, the front, um, I've got to do a whole new plinth. If you see, this, there's boards all running all the way around, around down there. So there's none at the back, none of that back down there, but there is on the side. So we're going to put one at the back, and we're going to put one at the front, and we're going to fix that. Can't have that, that's just crap. Um... I'll just show you the back, how bad the back is. All right, well, I'm just going to try and get down. I got. Oh, shit. All right. I'm back down. That was hard to video and do that. Right, so you can see down in here, um, this is the back wall. So you got an idea that there's nothing holding that at all. Um, I've had to rip that corner out. So it's just the bare skin. I've had to rip that out and we'll put new timber in there. I've cleaned all that out, so that's where all the moisture was coming through and all these, all the wood here was rotted out. So we're going to use this Merbu, because Merbu is for decking and it can handle water. So when you, there will be water. So we're going to clean all that up and I just want to show you sort of the major points. And then the rest of it is just um, screwing angles and stiffening it all up and um sigur flexing all the panels this is actually the strongest panel this one's still sigur flexed or liquid nails in there um all these others all these others aren't so good especially that one all right so i'm gonna get um you got a rough idea what i'm doing um and then once i'm done I know I said that before, but I want to show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, and we'll probably cut out, get rid of that wood uh, where the filler is and put a new one there. And actually brace up the separate things here. Because the bed frame's going to be about here somewhere. Um, so we can get the air conditioner right there. Alright, yeah. Enough babble. I'm going to get into it and I'll show you once it's all done. Hey guys, right, um, I've done a fair bit, I've worked all day today, um, so I'll just show you what, I'll just go inside and show you what I've done. I've more or less worked on the back wall and got that all finished, and we've also got this finished as well. Um, as for the rest of it, it's going to be, have to be for another time, uh, which is, it's not that bad, it's just about um, screwing little angles here and there. So anyway, I'm going to show you, um, this doesn't move anymore. Look at that. Saw Sigur flexed in there. It's like an industrial silicon with some Merbu board down there. So I can actually get up in here now. So you can see that doesn't move at all. It doesn't move at all now. Right, so and I've I've got these little brackets and gone around and done this sort type of thing, and use the excess silicon uh, Sigaflex in there. So all these were loose. So I've done that wall, done that wall. Sorry, I've more or less done that wall as well. This whole wall's done, and there is the back there. So what I haven't done is I haven't done that wall and I haven't done the front, but there's really not much wrong with this wall. Except for a few of these, I've got to put a few of them in. Right, yeah, let me get down here. Did an exercise last time. Right, yeah. So 
So I've got all the gear there. All right, so I've put Merbu right across the bottom. So when the floor sits down in there, I've got something nice and snug to go up against. Um, I found out this whole this whole um, corner piece, that's Merbu, I just got a red tape there because I had to cut a groove in there for the wiring. So when that wall goes in there, um, so anyway, that's all Merbu as well. That was the whole corner was not joined and rotted out. It was actually rotted. This is the only piece I've got to fix on this wall. Um, that piece there, you can see it's rotted out. So I'm just going to cut it back to here and replace that piece. And the rest of it is spot on perfect. No rot at all. Um, we've got a nice perfect Merbu. Um, all that. Put some liquid nails down in there so no spiders or anything can get in. Um, there was a bit of damage there, but I wasn't gonna. I'm not gonna replace it because it's got a bit of a bit of damage in there, but it wasn't that bad. Right, so the boards. I put new boards in. Um, this is where the lights were. Um, I'm gonna redo the lights. I'm gonna redo all this wiring. I put a new board there, and I've purposely moved. I purposely moved that. Let's see if I can. Can't move it down. Um, that was in the middle, but remember we're going to have an air conditioner and a ducting that goes out here, and the vent's going to go out there, out the side here, out the back. So I'll put a new one of those in. That's where the original light was. Um, I'll go around the back and show you what I've done. So um, look how solid it is now, and it's, I've only just done it. Nice and solid. Well, that wasn't solid either before. So the whole thing is solid now. The window is tied back in. It's all solid as anything. So I'm very happy. That was a full day's work to try and get all that done. But now, um, once I get the wiring done, and also I've put new lights on the back. You can see um, they're bolted in there which is a bit of a bugger later, but I'm actually going to make a removable panel here for the wiring, um, and you can change the lights if you want to. I'm not a big fan of screws, I sort of like to bolt stuff in and get it secure. But anyway, we'll go around the back and I'll show you the back. Still got a few little things to do here with the power points as well. So I've just got a few little angle bits to do and some big, new bits of wood. So that wall's done, the back's done. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go around. And that fan makes a hell of a difference for the day because it's like a bloody hot box in here. All right. Let's go out the back. All right, so I actually had this hole back here all pulled away because that all that wood down there was gone so you can see the new screws that's where the lights were but I'll just wash that and when we two pack paint it I'm gonna get some epoxy and fill that up and that's the other one I'll clean that up and you can see there the screws where it's actually braced to the frame now which it wasn't before and there's our lights LED lights I reckon they look damn good and I want them higher because of the wheel the wheel's gonna go about around there and I don't want the lights anywhere near anywhere near them so there you go there you go I'm pretty happy with today's effort got the lights in these are all LEDs um, they sort of match they match it because it's nice and square so there you go all right, hopefully you can join me next time. Um, next time I'm hoping I'll have all the framework actually secure. And then we'll start insulating. Um, I'll probably just wire up the wiring miss, um, without you knowing. Um, it's pretty easy. Brown's tail, red stop. On this one, it's white is negative. Yellow is left and green is right. All right, guys been a big day um 
I'm glad I used Mobu in there because that's actually um, it can handle a bit of water and doesn't rot that quick. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna pack it up. It's gonna get stormy, I think. Catch you next time.